In this video, you're going to walk through the Attribute Banks and Scenes Builder on the Force 1.0. You access this off of the main menu. You'll notice right below the Run button is a soft button called Attribute Banks and Scenes. You want to press that. Now you just have to wait a few seconds for the unit to load all necessary information. Okay, so right here we are accessing Attribute Bank number one, noted on the top of the screen. There are 10 Attribute Banks in total on the Force 1.0. Each attribute bank contains a customizable red, green, blue, amber, white, UV color mix, along with 18 individual channel groups. So right here we are accessing channel groups 1 through 6. If I scroll over again, channel groups 7 through 12. And if I scroll over one more time, channel groups 13 through 18. Now if I continue to scroll here, I would be accessing attribute bank number 2 and all the individual channel groups associated with that attribute bank, so on and so forth, all the way through attribute bank number 10. Now channel groups get mapped to any number of DMX slots or channels, whatever you want to call them within your universe. You make these mappings directly on the Force 1 application before transferring a universe to the unit itself. All right, so let's go back to our customizable hex color here. Now I can set this to any mix that I would like, and this will get mapped automatically to all individual color channels within your DMX universe and you will get real-time feedback here. So if I want to crank up the blue a little bit, you'll notice that my fixtures begin to illuminate blue and I can set the mix to anything that I want. Now you'll notice, it might be hard to see here, but I have two intimidator spots mounted to my rig that are not illuminating. Now the reason for that is because I mapped my intimidator spots, dimmer channels, to channel group number one. So if I start cranking this up here, you'll notice my intimidator spots start to illuminate. Now, if I want to set the color to, the, to blue, I mapped the color wheel channels for both intimidator spots to channel group number six. So I can start scrolling this up until I come to the necessary blue that I want. Went a little bit too far, we'll go back down to blue and perfect. All right, now also I mapped both intimidator spots and movement channels, so the course channels for pan and course channel for tilt, independently to these four channel groups. So my first intimidator spot, I map the pan channel to channel group number two. So if I start moving this, you'll notice I have control over where my intimidator spot points. All right, same thing with tilt. If I start cranking this up, you'll notice the beam starts moving down. All right, so channel seven is set to a gobo wheel for both of my intimidator spots. So I start cranking this up until I get the gobo wheel that I would like. I'll just leave it at that for now. Channel eight, I have mapped to gobo rotation. I can start setting this to anything that I want visually. Of course, you can consult the user manual for the fixtures or just keep going until you get something visually that you like. Channel nine, I set to prism. So I can start adjusting that to anything that I would like. And we'll just keep it at that for now. Now 10 is set to focus. You'll notice that on the wall there, that light isn't uh, well focused. So I could certainly adjust this as needed. And I'll keep going, starting to get in focus, starting to get better and very focused right there. All right, so if I'm happy with this, this is attribute bank number one. Now I'm not gonna walk through all different attribute banks here. I can figure those in advance, but I will now walk through the scenes builder. Now I reloaded my DMX universe quickly because I already saved off all my attribute banks previously to what I wanted. Now to access the scenes builder button, once you're done setting up all your attributes to what you need, you should just touch the scenes button builder. Now, right here, you'll notice we are accessing scene number 10, only because I already configured scenes one through nine. So I'll use this as an example. Now there are 10 individual static scenes you can create per DMX universe. And each scene is broken out into six fixture groups. Now, all of your fixtures within your universe can get mapped to any one of these six fixture groups. You do that using the Force 1.0 app again before transferring the information to the unit itself. Now, what I have for channel group, uh, fixture group number one, I have both my up lights. So what I can do here is I have blackout set to attribute bank number one, so nothing happens. For attribute bank number two, I have a blue color set up, so I can set my up lights to blue. Now this may be all you want for this particular static scene, and you can leave it at that. 
and save everything off. Now, what if you want to start uh, adjusting all of your other fixture groups as well? Well, what I have here for my intimidator spots, which are set to channel group number two, I can set those to an attribute bank where I have them pointed at my disco ball. All right, now fixture group number three, I have my two vertical bars here. Maybe I want to set those to say pink. My attribute bank number five is set to pink. And you'll notice my vertical bars go to pink. Now my two horizontal bars mounted to the top are set to fixture group number four. And maybe I want those to be say green. So in this case, I have those set to channel group attribute bank number 10. All right, and those are green. Now my last uh, horizontal mounted bar, which is right in the center there, I have that set to fixture group number five, and I can set that to anything I want. Say maybe I want a yellow in that case. Well, I have attribute bank number eight set to yellow, and I can set that up appropriately. Okay, now there's one more thing I'd like to show before we move on. So let's move over to a undefined static scene. If I scroll over once, we'll access static scene number nine. Now you'll notice on the top right of the screen here, there's a sync button. If I click that sync button, it means that if I assign any of my six fixture groups to one of the attribute banks, all six fixture groups will be assigned simultaneously. So for example, if I scroll up on fixture group number one, you'll notice all six fixture groups were assigned attribute bank number one, which is blackout. If I scroll up again, all six fixture groups will be assigned to attribute bank number two, which is a blue color with a certain gobo, a certain prism setting, a certain focus for my two intimidator spots. Now this is obviously useful for those uh, very quick and easy setups for static scenes if you want all six fixture groups assigned to the same attribute bank, but obviously you can turn this and turn it off at will and then you can control each independent fixture group one at a time. All right, so let's get out of here and just jump right into run mode and I'll show you some of the static scenes I created earlier and obviously the static scene that we built together, which if you remember was static scene number 10. So right away, let's access our static scenes. And to access static scene number 10, you have to go into page number two. And static scene number 10 corresponds to this button right here. So if we press that, this should look pretty familiar. This is what we set up together. All right, so now if I go back and start accessing some of my other static scenes, static scene number one, I have my up lights configured as blue, everything else in my rig off. Static scene number two, I have some multicolored setups for the lights on my rig, but my moving heads are still off. Up light is still set to blue. Static scene number three, I'm pin spotting a certain area in the back of the room with my intimidators, everything else is off. Static scene number four, I'm calling up a particular gobo, gobo rotation, prism setting, focus setting for my intimidator spots, and I, my up lights are blue, everything else in my rig is off. Static scene number five, I am pin spotting my disco ball and everything else in my rig is off. And I'll just do one more. Static scene number six. My intimidators are set to a magenta pinkish color with a particular gobo, gobo rotation, prism setting focus. I have my up lights off and some of the bar lights on my rig are set to blue. Okay, so once we're done here, we can get out of here. And if we want, we can just return right back to the main menu.